Welcome back guys, welcome to another video here. So I'm just logged in as my user, you can log in as your user in the application and here what we will continue is that we need to load now the actual image that we have uploaded. But before that, because I was rushing to create everything at once, so what we are doing here, we're just getting the image from the request, we're getting the original file plus this time function, it will create every time a new for example if you upload the same image the time always always will be different and that's why if you go to the public storage and resources here actually you don't need to see it but here it is the name of the file is there underscore and this is a timestamp and also it comes with the extension jpeg so that's what we have done and also in our, if I go to intro.com, PHP my admin, ignore this, uh, Lara intro, and here if I go to post, now I do have that image name stored and saved in the database, right? Now I'm just gonna go back to HTTP post controller and save that one, I don't wanna lose it. If, otherwise, if there is nothing if we don't, because here we say nullable, if we put require, we don't need to, we can skip this one. And after that, we're just saving the post. And that's pretty much it. Here we're creating storing as folder image to store. And also, if you remember, I'm just gonna need to open the CMD again. Sorry, CD. So I need to navigate to my CD Zam HD Docs. And I believe it was intro. And here, we have done a PHP Artisan Storage Link, if you remember that. PHP Artisan Storage Link, column link, and that linked. So if I do it, it will not work because we already have done it. Because we were here in this storage actually, and in app public, we do have uploads, right? And what's there, if we want to be publicly accessible, we need to use this command, All right? And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna click a PHP Artisan. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Now the next part is how we need to uh, display this because here, if you see, we have the car image cap, but we don't have any image because our image is actually pointing to nowhere. So where we have that one, I'm going to in the resources views. So this is actually in the index blade. Let's first fix this index blade. Now, how we can find, we can go to storage, now slash uploads, because that is the folder that we have, storage, so it's public storage, uploads, uploads, and after that, we can just pass in here post image or this column here, right? Now let's refresh and see what's happening. Here it is, the image is there. Uh, let's go to the dashboard, create one more. So create new post without uh, image, no image. And I'm not gonna select image here, I'm just gonna submit it. Let's view the, oh actually if I view the post, it's not gonna show it, I need to go back. So here it is, there is no image there. So let's see what's happening. Inspect element. So it's saying default.jpg. So storage uploads default.jpg. But here, this is happening because, why well, I lost it again, I don't know. Uh, HTTP post controller. This is happening because we are saying that if you don't have image, put this one as default. Why I'm doing this, so you can skip this part if you don't want to do it like this but while I'm doing this I have the folder here uploads so what I just gonna grab here I have a default one and uh, let's grab it and drag it so you can open actually like this Zam folder and intro and inside I have public I have storage I have uploads in here I can upload the other one the default one or you can drag it drag and drop 
uh, you can drag and drop the picture here. Bam. So now, here it is. I have the default one. So I'm just going to close these two because I don't need them. Now, I should get the default image. So this is for your, my image is like this, but your image should be no image or something meaningful that you can put it here. So that I don't want to have, I don't want have to have like a card without image. That was my idea. That's why I've done it like that. So every time the user skip this, uh, skip this, so there is no image. So put an image that is relevant. So you can go and download a lot of images from Un Unsplash like that unsplash you can download a lot of images here but remember because you when you downloading the image they can be more than the resolution we have and our resolution is here right here two megabytes so be careful about resolution maybe it's not gonna upload your things so I just wanted to tell you right the unsplash are free so you can use it but also you can link if you use it somewhere else Make sure that you are congratulate. For example, this is from uh, from some I don't know the username. Yeah, when you download, you will see the username. So it's gonna be download for free like this. And it really, this is nine megabytes. So it's not gonna work. So find an image that. So photo by which guy? Yeah, I don't know. So that's what I was trying to say. So download the image that's not that big. Now if I click we view. I see two things. The one is that we don't have image. The second thing is that we have this image body and that image body is probably H1. So I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to close this public here. I'm just going to close this HTTP and app and we're going to views, post and show. Right? Show message. Now here I do have this H1. It should be P tag. And let's see. Image body. So P tag ptech ending that's good now let's create something here let's create a row another row in this row I just want um, yeah I just want to call MD8 same same old offset of 2 and here what we will say IMG SRC and we can say storage slash storage uploads and here we can also use this post image right now alt you can say I don't know cover image like that so let's see what's happening now I'm gonna have a problem because the image is too big probably you can put style here inline style you we, we will learn how to make a style uh, but let's put a height of 80 view H viewport high and width to be a hundred percent and let's see let's, if this is gonna help so set column there and sure it does now I do have this part and you can also always put margin top of five and this will be also margin top of five and let's see what's if, if it will work so here the title is there and you can also say text align center text center see if that will fix there you go now you have the body now you have this title image and you have the hero image that's very awesome and if I go here I should see this picture no problems and yeah that's pretty much it for this lecture one more thing that we need to do remember I'm just gonna log out so if I go to the dashboard and view posts now the view will work actually by the way but edit post I mean I have only two posts so I just want to log out and I remember that we have another test user probably test at gmail.com so I'm just gonna log in as a test gmail.com oops and you can put wherever you want so view posts actually I can see these posts here so that is not the ideal way so I think that we can just make that one change a little bit so if I go to app HTTP again in the controller 
post controller. So if I go here in this index, we can see that we are listing all of the posts and actually this is the view that we are looking post index doesn't say like that why because php artisan route l or list now post index the uri is only post that's why it's like that and it's controlled by this controller method sorry so here we can spice it up a little bit we can change it and make it to um, to be to belong to only to list to the post that belongs to only the uh, that user. So I will say authenticate user like this, and I will just grab user. I'm just going to import it. I don't oh, okay. It's been there, right? Just say it. So make sure that you import things because you're going to have errors. Now I don't have posts. And what I can do here, I can say posts equal to post. In here, you can say where user ID belongs to this user ID from the authenticated user, right? And we need to say get, otherwise we'll not be able to get the collection. Now then, dumb post, see what I will have. I shouldn't have any posts because I don't have posts for this specific user and it should be posts so undefined variable post because I use post and I just try and then dump post variable that doesn't exist now we have this array title with uh, image body image okay maybe I'm still logged in. okay am I logged in as a which one Oops. Let's see. Let's see which post we have. Okay, yeah, because I have one post from each user. That why because I was confused because I was thinking that we have that's oh good, that's my mistake. So we have one post from user ID two, and the user ID two belongs to this guy here. And if we don't have any posts from a new user, that's gonna be super cool. Now I should just comment this one and we can pass the same thing here to the view and actually I should see only one result that's it so I can be able to edit my post only that belongs to this user so this with image image body and actually we can put it here if we want to change the image test uh, title with image updated let's see our work Okay, yeah, because the updation is working and it's adding the p tags. Okay, let's fix that one as well. So what we have done here is I'm just gonna strip the text. I'm just gonna copy this one from the store. And let's go to our update, right? And I'm just gonna comment this part. And I'm gonna update like that. Very good. Now, just gonna refresh and edit the same post again. I'm each updated, just put it there. There you go. We don't have that one anymore. So that's pretty much it. Now, in this one, I can see all of this, all of the posts from different users, but in my dash, I can see my posts only. And that's pretty much cool. So you can make a different restrictions. For example, you can make a there is a different ways you can use um, uh, different ways how to do this but this is the the way it's working now that's pretty much it next time I think we will do something interesting but we are pretty much close with finishing this part after that we're gonna learn a lot more other thing uh, other things related with this so I just want to create some crud application for you guys in order to have this uh, I mean to have this this application in front of you so you can see how real uh, Laravel is going because I can see in my previous courses as much as I want to postpone things before to le start learning I mean before to learn things and after that to jump to coding or to do the application you lose interest so that's why I just start a little bit of introduction then I go straight to the application and now I can brought this even further 
to tell you more things before we starting working on the real project. So I think you are in a good way, I mean, in a good place now to learn a very large amount of new information. So make sure that you practice this one and you will not have problems. So now you know how to create routes, how to, to name routes, how to use the controller models, you create the views, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, a little bit of file uploading, and yeah, that's not something big, but it's going to be a very important for future reference. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.